get underway, and it's been a close one so far. Look at what Millard has done so far. He's got 11 points, and he's put one three-pointer on the board. Yeah, he's got to take his time behind the arc. Here's who Jerry Stotts is starting the second half with. Filling out the wings, it's Matthews and Batum. Aldridge and Lopez are down low. And it's Lillard in at the one. You know, there's no better sign of how efficiently a team is operating than their assist number. And theirs are fantastic. It's just beautiful basketball to watch, Clark. And here are the trailblazers now. The Clippers getting the bucket. Batum, good. For three. Damian Lillard, a scoring point guard, great three-point shooter, able to hit from deep range off the dribble, you name it. And, of course, hit probably the biggest shot of the playoffs last year, that game winner that ended the series against Houston. Jordan, the pass to Griffin. Feeds it to Reddit. Defensive foul. No good. This has not at all been the kind of performance they've needed out of him. And Lillard kicks to Matthews. A three ball. But his shot's been off today, no question. He's not the guy they're going to want to look to if they want to keep this lead where it is. Well, they need a shot or two to fall here soon. They're only one of four since the break. And for Lillard, not just a long-range threat, he's great running that pick and roll, driving and kicking to set up his teammates. Yeah, he's really excellent in ball handling situations in that pick and roll. I mean, he can get his shots, his guys go under, he can split the screen, he can create shots for other people. He's a real handful, and his athleticism is very sneaky scary. Boy, that's a surprising miss right there. He usually feasts on those wide open opportunities. Matthews into the lane. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. Yes, Matthews undrafted out of Marquette. What a career he has carved out with the Blazers. Well, you think about it, he started as a rookie with the Jazz. And, you know, then the rare restricted free agent that was allowed to change teams. Utah decided not to match Portland's offer. And what a deal that turned out to be for the Blazers. He's been a solid starter for them for four years now. His second three-pointer of the half and his third overall. And that is good. 14 points for Lillard. They've been splashing home those three since halftime. Definitely a big improvement in their shooting from what we saw before the break. Crawford, no luck. And Matthews really does. Oh, oh, oh ridiculous. What a move. Tore it down that time. <laughs> And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game right now. Clark, there is a swagger out here on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. That's right. Those are phenomenal dunks to watch. So much fun. Guys, uh, they've been getting it done. They sure have been. I mean, really looking good and sharp offensively. They're knocking down the open shots and really getting a nice flow to their game. <laughs> Looked like the defense was totally scattered on that fast break. Nice job taking advantage there with the wide open three. A different look for the Clippers. Glenn Davis is checked in for Griffin. Turkaloo comes in for J.J. Reddick. And it's Farmer in for Chris Paul. Man, that's a low percentage shot right there. Yeah, it sure is. I mean, he's got to be thinking out there a little better. Make the pass in that situation. Don't force a bad shot. Now here's Turkaloo. Lock at six. The three. They get it back. Second shot opportunity. Here's Farmar. And that one falls coming off of Davis's feed. Here's Lillard. 16 points for him. You know, Portland has a new GM as of 2012. And we see not just changes with the team roster, which you would expect, but really. An overhaul of team operations as well. New scouting crews, a new strength and training staff, and a remodeling of the practice facility. For the Trailblazers, Joel Freeland comes in for LaMarcus Aldridge. And Steve Blake is subbed in for Damian Lillard. 
Now here's Matthews. Nine points in the game so far. And the basket good. That's some tenacity inside, battling for the second chance points. And for the Blazers, injuries have been such a problem over the years. The training staff, perhaps a more proactive approach to prevent injuries. Even things like nutrition. During flights, they used to offer cookies and ice cream bar. Now it's chicken and brown rice. A different look now for Portland. Lopez, who's checked in for Kane. Aldridge comes in for Joel Freeland. And Damian Lillard subbed in for Steve Blake. And there had been talk that LaMarcus Aldridge was unhappy in Portland. He has changed his tune. And for him, Kevin, it seems as though winning is the main thing. But the Blazers also created a player's first culture. You know, players are your best recruiters, quite honestly. And word gets around. If guys are happy, then that helps them talk about their experience. Teams now have to look at the whole picture and trying to keep players content so they perform at their highest level. And Clark, a great competitive game so far. Yeah, tit for tat. I mean, back and forth, plenty of lead changes and excellent play. These two teams, guys, look so evenly matched to me. I think this could go right down to the wire. Turkaloo inside the line. Off target with that shot. And as we finish the third quarter, it's still close. Both. Come on. The Clippers trail. Blake Griffin down low and DeAndre Jordan. CP3 at point with Reddick there at the back. And it's Bullock in it the three. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. What a great battle these teams are waging today. Yeah, you get the feeling, Steve, the game could swing on just one or two plays down the stretch. Aldridge dishes to Craig. Good. 18 points for Damian Lillard. Their prowess inside has been tremendous, guys. I mean, it's been no contest down on the low block. And until they prove they can stop them, I mean, they ought to continue to pound it in low. And let's get your take, guys, on the hustle stats for the Clippers. Contested shots and block shots. They're bread and butter defensively. They're giving up no easy looks. And they've really done a nice job on the glass, too. A lot of second-chance points here tonight. And they're pushing it up. Assist from a huge slam, the perfect end of the fast break. And guys, here in the fourth quarter, still a close game. Yeah, and actually still too close to call. I mean, this one is tight. This could be an instant classic, fellas. I mean, this thing has all the looks of a game that's going to go right down to the line. Oh, 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 down there. Oh. Man. Man, he got fancy with that one, didn't he? Yeah, maybe trying to give them the momentum boost they need to break this game open. Yeah, I like that. I mean, some coaches might want to see just a, a sure-handed lay-in, but say put as much as you can on the finish and get your teammates going. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. You look at how the Blazers played last year, and there was just so much motion in their offense, not just on the transition, but also in the half court. I think that's in large part why they got so much better. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard Terry Scott as he addressed his team. He is not happy with their perimeter defense, saying, guys, way too many open shots for them beyond the three-point line. We've got to press up closer and try to crowd them off the arc. Guys, we'll see if they got the message. And that running around in constant motion, Clark, the big reason why the Blazers scored in bunches. Yeah, it can wear teams out. I mean, ball movement, player movement are two of the hardest things to deal with as a defense. And the NBA tracks how much a player moves in the game. And if you look at the top of that list, I was really amazed with the Portland players last year. Ball passes to Griffin. Just five on the clock. Jordan kicks to Bullock. That drops and it comes off an assist from Jordan. And it's a seven-point Clipper lead.
They've gotten a bunch of good looks and have been absolutely lethal from behind the three-point line. Yeah, you got to get some bodies out there defensively, though. I mean, if things are way too easy out beyond the uh, three-point arc. And here's Matthews from the arc. That is good. That's not the way for a team to get back into a game, like giving up easy shots like that. It has to start at the defensive end. And the Clippers call time here. They're up by four. 149 left to play in the final quarter. Chris Kamen's checked in for the Trailblazers. Batum comes in for Alan Crabb. Here's Paul. Paul is doubled. He dishes it to Bullock. And the shot is good. Bullock's got five points now in the quarter. 143 left in the game. Lillard again. It's Paul. And Lillard kicks to Matthews. But three. That's good. Well, you know, he has shot the ball well, but it has not been contagious. And his teammates, they haven't had the same groove, and that's why we're looking at this result so far. Paul dishes to Reddit. Can he keep it going? Paul passes to Jordan. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. And that's now six points for Jordan. Lillard attacking. And he makes good on the layup. Loose defense at such a critical time. You're better off sending him to the line than giving him two points. Griffin is green on Lillard. He locks up the alley pass. And Griffin slams it in. Oh, and the pass there floated up to the precise spot where it needed to be. And no messing around in the finish, huh? He, he powers it through. Sure didn't waste any time there. I'll tell you what, that is going to be an alley-oop we'll see on the highlight reel the next few days. And it's Bullock missing. Portland's gone a disappointing 2-6 of six on three-point attempts here in the fourth. And here's Matthews from the arc. And they are in the driver's seat. Yep. Now basket here and pretty much wraps it up. Mm. They are not letting up, guys. They just keep coming at them. And I'd say that lead is too big to overcome at this point. Lillard misses. I'll tell you what, the defense has nothing to worry about out there with him shooting. I mean, he can't dial it in from deep this half at all. They get it back. Deflects the pass. Batum with the steal. Bullock with the rebound. Well defended, and he's not someone who responds well to that kind of defensive pressure. And he commits the intentional foul. Too little, too late. They may as well just let the clock run and save their energy for another day. Absolutely, Clark. You know sometimes the frustration can show in a game like this, and I think that's what we're seeing right here. So the Clippers winning this one easily. They put on a show tonight thoroughly controlling each end of the floor. Hey, what more can you ask? Thanks for tuning in to the NBA on 2K Sports. For Clark... to me no more.